we're only missing soul control here for like giving an absolute beastly card to a player. Rabona getting the bin. That's what we do, lads. What's the crack, lads? Welcome to a special video today. We are going to be opening a whopping 150 skill trainers. Huge shout out to Lou Cola, big supporter of the channel. Let's roll it. Let's see what we get in 150 skill trainers. All right, lads. So we're going to go straight into it, man, right? We have 148 skill trainers in total. Again, shout out to Lou. This was from our live stream the other day. Lou let us in and open all these skill trainers. And essentially what you're doing here is the, the skill trainer trick. Because the, the skills are random... You load up skills onto a low rated zero GP, costs you nothing to buy these players. You load them up to a zero GP player, and then if you get a good skill, you park that, you hold it, and then you put the skill onto whatever player you want. I have loads of videos on that. But the emphasis on this video was to see how many blocker, one touch pass, and double touch skills we could get out of 150, right? So we do stop every now and again um, when we do get a good combination of skills. As you will see, we've got the perfect skills in a second coming up on this card. And we were trying to kind of double dip to make really good hybrid kind of players to be able to transfer over for a GP. And also, we have sped up the video as well, right? To kind of make it a little bit more watchable because it was about a 40 minute video otherwise. Right, so it's fairly self-explanatory what we're doing here. We're just opening up and as I said, the emphasis on uh, getting the skills was kind of where we wanted to go with this and to see how many rare skills we could get. Weighted pass, super sub, um, you know, scotch move, inside bounce, all of these are kind of fairly similar um, when you go opening a lot of skill trainers, but blocker is quite rare. Now, we actually got blocker pretty much off the rip, within nine spins, I think it was, um, which is pretty decent. It's a pretty decent return. I know for myself, on my own profile, I don't know about you guys, let me know which skills are rare for you. Honestly, blocker is super rare for me. I think I've only got it about three times in total, Whereas on this opening of the skill trainers, we got it more than that, right? So I'm talking like barely, you know, out of 100 skill trainers on my own profile, I barely got blocker once or twice. Um, but also double touch and one touch pass seem to be very rare as well. So we're going to pair up blocker and acrobatic clearance here. We did get soul control and weighted pass as well. But as I said, don't focus too much on what skills this player is loaded up with. Obviously, this is just to kind of show you exactly what skills you open. And I'll kind of speed this up towards the end of the video, okay? So once we have a player loaded up there, we'll just re rinse and repeat with a different player. Um, obviously, look, I'll let this play through. When we did get a good combination of skills, and we will do a bit of a results at the end of it as well. How many blocker we got, one touch pass, flip flap, soul control, a couple of the most important skills, and a couple of the skills that you guys probably want to go for. But essentially, it's just kind of a bit of an analysis piece, because I do feel that the skills... I just feel like they need to revamp them for eFootball 2025. I don't know, can I do another 12 months of this random not being able to give a skill? I would rather just have every single player that you get a base card, whether it's a legend, an epic, a booster, a highlight, a player of the week, whatever. Have them all as base cards. Maybe not the player of the weeks because they're final versions. You know, they're the end level boss uh, versions of the cards. But every base card has no skills and you have to learn the skills or adapt on the pitch you play a player up front then he becomes proficient in playing up front and you have to play maybe 50 matches with him then you unlock a certain tier kind of like how ufl are doing the skills that's one thing i will give them credit for okay but this is just going to run through obviously you can pause the video whenever you want and see oh where he got the skills and what he got with this this is our second blocker so we have got two blockers within what 28 spins 30 spins which is a good return so we're on kind of a good pace for a blocker every 15 spins which is crazy compared to my luck with getting blocker on my own account um because it is it is kind of very rare blocker seems to be the most rare for me and one touch pass flip flap i got a load of them and we got a load of them in this as well chop turn cut behind and turn scissors touch double touch they're not as rare it seems but we got an absolute beast of a player here that you're going to see right we already have off the rip flip flap and double touch we get super sub on as well I do like to keep super sub on because sometimes I like to bring on a fully featured version of a player in the 60th minute if you're chasing the game or you just want to close out a game. Weighted pass is usually a good one, but we'll get that rid of as well. One touch pass. So we have spun, what, 40 times here and got one touch pass once. So that's, again, that seems to be one of the most rarest skill cards um, that you're able to get. I don't know why they've really kind of started to reduce that. Is it completely random or is there a bit of a weight behind it as to what skills you get? Let me know in the comments 
what you guys think. But we've, we're have we building an absolute Frankenstein monster here, lads. Flip flap, double touch, one touch pass, and super sub. We're only missing, as you saw at the, in, at the start of the intro, we're only missing soul control to be able to give a player that won't have much technicality and much technique flip flap double touch and soul control if we get that we are going to have the advanced double touch or the ball roll the bellingham slash neymar ball roll that is super super good out wide and in the box it's really really effective in the box we get rabona we spin again and we get soul control so now we could actually give this to somebody that we ordinarily wouldn't give um soul control double touch and flip flap to we could give it to a player that has just got really clunky feet to be able to come out of the box with it, you know? Um, if you've got a center back or something like that that has all the base standard level defensive skills like blocker, interception, fighting spirit, and you've nothing to give him, you could turn him into a bit of a beast here. Like Costa Corta might be a good one to do that to, um, or somebody like that just off the top of my head. So we're going to speed this up a little bit. As I said, lads, this is just more of a bit of an analysis towards the end of the video. Um, we do have lots of fighting spirit. Fighting spirit don't seem to be too rare. I get them quite a lot acrobatic clearance one other one i don't think that we got in any of the spins and we'll see towards the end of the video we did get acrobatic finishing acrobatic clearance aerial superiority was a super super rare one as well um i'll do that towards the end now we do get our third blocker here so we started with 150 spins or 148 spins for the skills we got blockers so far three times Okay, three times out of about, what, 50, 60 spins, maybe 60 spins. Um, it's not bad, it's not bad, but we got it in the first, like, what, nine spins, eight spins, then it was, the like, 15th spin after that, and then it was, like, 40 spins after that, or 30-something spins after that. So we do leave blocker on that, um, just to be able to kind of train up a different player and see what we can get and continue on. But aerial superiority seems to be also in that high risk kind of just never get it i've got loads of rabonas loads of sombreros loads of first time shot one touch shot any of those they're they're not as rare um but it does seem to be that aerial superiority now seems to be super super rare as well but we'll see how it goes we've got a couple of minutes left in this video and we're just going to go through this we've got a lot of weighted pass and true passing but not that much low lofted pass again low lofted pass seems to be one that they've I don't know do many people get low lofted pass, but I barely ever seem to get it. Aerial superiority, low lofted pass, blocker one touch pass. They seem to be the rare ones. No look pass that we get there. We're going to speed this up again. True passing. We get that. We stop it on that. We're going to get fighting spirit. That could be good for a DMF or a CMF. Um, so we leave it at that. Another fighting spirit. We've probably got about 10 fighting spirits in total. Probably about 10 interceptions in total by the end of this video as well that we've got. And look, we are overriding some good um you know skills obviously if we were like limited on skills we wouldn't be doing this but towards the end of the video we just said look let's just throw caution to the wind and see what skills we can get the top five skills how long and how many of them we can get so it's kind of more for like an analysis point of view rather than trying to build and use these skills as effectively as possible because we are taking the lazy route with it um so as i said shout out to Lou Cola for letting us do this on his account flip flap we just got that i think we get end up getting flip flap about seven or eight times out of 150 spins and of course we're going to go again for soul control or double touch a lot of cards now either have soul control and flip flap soul control and double touch or double touch and flip flap they're always missing one and i think that will follow true for eFootball 25 unless they completely revamp these we get one low lofted pass there uh which is nice we're going to leave that we also trade over uh track back and heading which again are still a very very nice cards uh player skills to get we get a couple of inside bounces which is scotch move um marseille turn we get sombrero we get a couple of different ones we get heading back again now we're just really throwing caution to the wind and saying, right, we're going to discard all these skills and just keep rolling, rolling, rolling like Limp Biscuit, lads. Pinpoint crossing with low lofted skill, a low lofted pass mightn't be too bad, but we're going to keep going and keep going and keep going. Chip shot control, we do need that for strikers, but not great. Interception, brilliant if you need it on a defender, but not here. So we do get flip flap. So that I think is about like our 10th flip flap um, with low lofted pass. Again, that could be very effective if you want to train somebody up a little bit differently. Uh, we get another low lofted pass there, which we already had. Um, so we do end up getting a couple of different skills that I, I suppose we are lucky enough in the fact that we did get two low lofted out of that. We get one aerial superiority there. We get a second aerial superiority there um we get another double touch and then we're going to flip over this so as i said two aerial superiority 
two low lofted pass and then flip flap super sub all of them were very effective three blocker we'll do analysis at this at the end of this but we're down from 148 skill trainers all the way down to 100 and are down to zero so we've spent like about 148 of these skill trainers so let's just do a bit of analysis on this and show you what we got out of 150 so lads there you have the results right so out of 148 skill trainers we got three blocker skills we got two aerial superiority two one touch pass eight double touch i think it was around nine flip flap it could be more it could be slightly less but that is i think what i counted and then two low lofted pass again that might be three i don't know did we get one towards the end aerial superiority i think is probably one of the rarest ones for me now we got loads of other skills sombrero rabona fighting spirit super sub we got loads of those probably in around the seven eight mark as well but they're kind of the skills that everybody wants really you know most players if you're looking for a soul control double touch and flip flap a lot of players have soul control off the rip so flip flap and double touch are a must sometimes one sometimes both skills are needed to give your uh, player a special advanced double touch um aerial superiority for me always seems to be a difficult one to get as well as one touch pass low lofted pass sometimes a lot of your center midfielders or your attacking midfielders will have weighted true pass weighted and true pass and one touch pass but they won't have low lofted for some reason or else they'll have low lofted but they won't have one touch so yeah it's interesting man out of 150 or so skill trainers that were the result those were the results so let me know what you guys think which are the most rare skills that you guys find hard to get don't forget to subscribe let me know if you like this video as well something a little bit different and i will talk to you in a bit